Hi, Justin Parsons here, Director of Instruction at the Butch Harmon School of Golf here at Dubai Sports City. And with Augusta around the corner, I think it's fair to say that the, the greatest images about the tournament itself are these amazing greens and the amazing breaks that we see. Sometimes on 16 we see players putting away from the hole in order to get the ball back to the hole. Now this is because the greens at Augusta do contain quite a lot of slope and they also run sometimes at 12, 13, 13 and a half even on the stimp reading. So here at the Els Club, I'd like to think we've got some of the best greens in the UAE. And on a nine and a half stint, which is our day-to-day -day reading, a 15 foot putt from across the slope a little bit might contain about 15 inches of break. To give you an idea, the same putt on those fast greens at Augusta would contain double that, it would contain 30 inches of break. So that's a pretty serious stat. One of the biggest things that I learned whenever I first started working for Butch Harmon was how important cadence is in your putting stroke. Now cadence is the ability to keep the ratio of energy or the transfer of energy the same regardless of the length of the stroke. And one of the reasons why Butch feels this is very, very efficient, as he said to me, he said, if you look at this handle of this club, if I move this around a lot, he'll say, well, look, the head doesn't move very much. He said, if you stabilize the handle, you can really let the head swing, and this is a very efficient use of energy. So what we really have to do is we have to learn to be able to employ cadence into our putting stroke. Now, some of the great ways to do that, and I think I've said before on some of my videos and, and magazine articles for Golf Digest, is to hit some putts with one hand. I think this is a really, really good way to develop cadence in your putting stroke. You might also have seen over the years belly putters becoming very popular, and they're not going to be just so popular in 2016, but you could maybe still get one for helping you to train your putting stroke. Because what a belly putter did, it helped you to get a fixed axis here at the top, and it helped you to let the putter swing within that fixed axis. So in doing that, what you're doing all the time is you're basically using the weight of the head, the weight of the shaft, the weight of your arms in order to be able to swing the putter efficiently. Now the biggest thing that I see from a lot of my clients is an inability to grip the golf club properly to hit putts. What we want to see is we want to see the putter resting through the lifelines really of both hands so that the shaft of the club exits up through your forearms. From a front-on standpoint, those of you who are familiar with such things would look at this as a weak left-hand grip and a strong right-hand grip on the, on the other side. So in hitting the putt with that grip, my hands feel as if they're kind of dead and they can let the putter flow back and forth in the putting stroke. So look for great cadence from the players you see at Augusta. Try some of those things in your own game and I hope it improves your putting.